Welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews, straight up guns and gear reviews. Today we're taking a look at the Gamo Bone Collector right here. This is the brand new 10X Gen 2 Bone Collector with the lay flat magazine, 10 shots on tap, 22 cal. So we're going to do a review on this today. We're going to check it out for accuracy, shoot it over the chronograph, and just generally give you guys my opinion, the rundown, right here on this guy, the Gamo Bone Collector in 22 cal, brand new. Here we go. Let's check it out. If you've been following the channel, of course, you might have seen the video that I did with this already. Took it out, did just a little bit of hunting here on the ranch. We got ourselves a cottontail, and of course, the bone collector did a beautiful job on that one. Took that guy out one shot, easy, very well done. But I know, of course, we need to do a review on this guy, right? So we need to show you guys how it performs, what kind of accuracy you can expect to get out of it, show you what kind of numbers it's getting over the chronograph, and just give you sort of a general rundown on what you get when you buy this Gamo Bone Collector here in 22 cal. The Gamo Bone Collector series really has been one of my favorite series of air rifles. I loved my previous Woodstock version of the Bone Collector in 22 cal, and so far I've been really enjoying this guy right here. So I think today's video is going to be a fun video, a great review. Let's start right off by heading over to the bench and showing y'all what this thing can do for some accuracy. All right, so let's talk about this accuracy here. You can see we've got two very different group sizes and what's going on, what's causing that? So basically this first group that I shot here, I was holding the rifle the same way every time, really doing my part to be very diligent about absorbing the recoil, just doing everything that you're supposed to do to shoot a brake barrel correctly. Now on this second group right here, I was just kind of willy-nilly shooting it. And you can see that definitely this is going to be a rifle that is what maybe some people would call hold sensitive, or you just basically, I like to say, you got to pay attention to what in the heck you're doing. Because if you're not, you're going to end up with groups like this. But if you pay attention and you manage the recoil and you do your part, you can end up with groups like that right there. So that's 35 yards. That's what the Gamma Bone Collector can do at 35 yards. Take it or leave it, guys. I think that's pretty good, especially, like I say, when you're doing your job and you're managing the recoil, holding the rifle correctly, you can get some pretty decent groups. I'm using these H&N Field Target Trophies. I've had good luck with those in the past out of my previous Bone Collector, and they seem to be working pretty good out of this one. So there you have it. That's my accuracy results at 35 yards. And that group that I showed you guys is just an average group. I've even done better than that with it, of course, in the past, but wanted to give you a good idea of just what you can get sort of with an average grouping shooting those pellets right out of the box with this guy right here. So next, let's go ahead and take it over, shoot it over the chronograph. We're gonna shoot two pellets over the chronograph. We're gonna stick with those H&N Field Target trophies for our first batch, and then I'm gonna load up some Crossman 14.3 grain hollow points just to give you guys a little bit of variety and show you what this thing is capable of.
I like that this thing isn't trying to push quite so hard and fast as some of the other brake barrels out there. Just makes the recoil a little bit nicer and, and just overall makes the shooting experience a little bit more fun because you don't have to put so much effort into cocking it and it's not quite as hard on the shoulder. So it's just one of those that you can really just hang out and plink with all day. So taking a little bit closer look just at what you get here with the Gamo Bone Collector here in 22 cal. Of course, we've got this very nice wood stock in my opinion coming from a box store air rifle manufacturer this wood stock is really pretty the checkered ink on it's really nice you got this cool bone collector emblem or logo there and overall just a very comfortable wood stock and attractive in my opinion we've got the green band on it here that's signifying that this is the 22 cal rubber buttstock on the end now this barrel doesn't have the the big whisper silencer there at the end but it is a shrouded barrel and it does have this sort of baffling here at the end and i'm gonna say that this thing is backyard friendly of course depending on your backyard and your neighbors but it is not really all that loud this does a nice job of dampening the sound down to a backyard friendly level at least in my opinion this has got a pretty decent trigger, you guys. Not a match grade trigger like what you're gonna get on a multi-thousand dollar PCP, but definitely a very usable trigger. We've got a safety right there just in the trigger. Back is safety on, forward is off. Comes with the scope included. Gamo's recoil reduction rail there. And this is a three to nine power scope. Of course, the real sort of crown jewel of the Gamo 10x system is this guy right here the magazine we've got this 10 shot magazine right there sits on top of the gun lays flat and when you cock the gun flips up there's a pellet pusher that drives a pellet into the breech and you've got a pellet in there no more of this looking around fumbling in your pockets hunting around for pellets but I'm sure of course by now you guys have heard about that so we don't need to spend too much time on that but really love the fact that they've got that on here super cool just one thing I want to throw out there is if you needed to single load this thing that is totally possible, but it's just you got to kind of push this mechanism out of the way and get that pellet in there. But if you were in a pinch and you saw something, didn't have time to load the mag, you can get one pellet in there. I've had a lot of people asking me about that. I've actually mentioned it in a couple other videos, but wanted to throw it out there again today that with these rifles, it is possible to single load them. But of course, if you've got 10 shots in that mag, that gives you a lot, lot faster follow-up shots. So there you have it guys, that is the Gamo 10X Gen 2 here, bone collector and 22 cal. What more is there to be said, but let's get out there and shoot. And I know I'm out here having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too, and I'll see you next time.